Now, ice is also a very interesting substance in its own right. Solid water. There's a very unusual property of solid water, and that is that it floats on top of liquid water. Well, you might think nothing very exciting about that. We all know that ice floats on top of water. After all, icebergs float. But actually, it is very unusual. Here we have some solid cyclohexanol. and We've just added this to the liquid cyclohexanol. And this one actually sinks. In fact, this is the usual case. It's more normal for a solid substance to sink when we put it in its liquid. It's actually very unusual that water floats when it's ice on top of liquid water. But nonetheless, it's a good thing that it does because this means that uh, when temperatures drop and if we've got to have a pond filled with water, the surface freezes, but rather than that ice dropping down to the bottom and then more ice forming and then that dropping down to the bottom and the entire pond freezing, it means that only the top freezes and the ice floats on top, which means underneath it's insulated from the cold air by the layer of ice above, and so the fishes can still survive, which is great. Okay, it'd be bad for fishes if ice sank. Okay, now, we'll come back to exactly why ice floats. We've got one more demonstration to show you involved in this, and oh, I need to come over here. 